Hi everyone, as promised, today we're learning the building blocks of creating any design from simple to complex in linearity curve. Basics like creating simple shapes, the most elemental gestures, and selection tool with all its modes. And we're going to complete this simple landing page design in the process. So what I think we're missing here are some shapes that bring all these elements together. First up, let's add a simple circle pattern behind the text. We're going to select our desired color from the color widget and then pick the ellipse from this list of preset shapes that are part of the shape tool. Select it and then drag and release anywhere on the canvas. Probably a good time to learn this. If you want to undo any action, tap the screen with two fingers. To preserve our shape's proportions, all we need to do is hold down one finger while dragging. Now we have what we need. If you want to resize or change the position of your shape, then pick up the selection tool. Notice that we have these 8 blue points that allow you to manipulate your shape in any direction. Because we actually want to scale the shape proportionally, let's delete this one from quick actions. And then use the same shortcut as before. Hold the screen with one finger. You may have noticed this green bubble here, which you can also use to scale proportionally. But the cool thing about it is that scales all shape attributes proportionally as well. So if I give my shape a stroke by turning on this toggle, then when I scale my shape up and down, the stroke will change accordingly. And looks good no matter the size. As a comparison, here's how it looks when scaling without holding the green dot. Alright, I want to remove my stroke and this is just about the size I'm looking for. In order to make a pattern, I will need more than one shape. So let's duplicate it a few times. We can do that by activating duplicate mode and then dragging and dropping our object wherever it needs to be. Once we have a full row down, let's make sure the shapes are aligned and distributed equally by opening this submenu here in the quick actions and tapping these two buttons. All other alignment options are at your disposal in this section. And grouping will also help with what's next, and it's this button here. Grouping basically allows multiple shapes to act as a unit. Now let's select our group, activate duplicate mode and move it down while holding one finger once again. Finally, distribute horizontally. And now our pattern is done. Let's add some more circles to our design but in a different style. So I will turn field off, turn stroke on, and draw a simple circle outline. You might have noticed there's a couple more selection tool modes here, right next to the toolbar. This mode scales any shape proportionally. But the true power of this mod is revealed when used in combination with the other mod we learned so far. So if I activate scale and duplicate at the same time, this is the effect I achieve, which allows me to create a stack of concentric circles like so. Okay, now I think we're missing another triangle here. So let's go back to shape tool and select the polygon this time around. We just need to make sure we change the number of size to 3 by making use of the slider. Let's change the color to this beautiful orange and then just like before, we drag and drop. Looks a bit too flat at the moment, so let's see how we can fix that. We can rotate it by using this orange handle at the top. Notice the degree of rotation is displayed in this orange box here. Super helpful for any precise designs. Going back to our selection tool, we find the rotation mode here as well. But the cool thing about this is that you can change the pivot point of your rotation anywhere on the canvas by tapping once. To give it that extra push, we can round up the corners so they match the vibe of all the circles we got going on. I'm using the slider here from the quick actions. Stop whenever it looks good to you. The last thing I want to show you is another combo action. So we looked at the scale and duplicate, now let's look at rotate and duplicate. Simply activate both modes, so now you create an identical shape to the one selected. One extra gesture we can learn is snapping the rotation every 45 degrees, which looks something like this when we're holding down one finger on the canvas. I want this object to be more complex, 
So let's select everything and duplicate and rotate one more time. And that's it. You can use all the techniques we've learned today to add more interesting elements to your design. This is how I created the entire landing page you see here. As always, practice is the best teacher, so you will learn by doing in no time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. The next one will be all about editing tools. I'll see you there.